Hey guys, welcome to A Touch of Film. I'm back after a little while. I've been extremely busy with work, but yeah, I'm back with a uh, Blu-ray update. I've got some, like, a mixed bag here, um, mainly Hong Kong titles, but yeah, let's jump into it. Uh, we have got first one uh, from Anne Hui, Love After Love. Uh, this is, her, I think it's her most recent film, um... I don't know how to really uh, explain it. Uh, it's not her best movie, but it's still very good. Um, it's a it's a, a story about like relationships. Um, well, this this relationship and this uh, love affair that can't really blossom. It's an, a forbidden love story. Uh, but Christopher Doyle done the cinematography for it. It's absolutely stunning. Um, now, I still love the film. I don't think it's her best work. I mean, that goes to show a lot about Anne Hui's work. I mean, it's nowhere up there with, like, Boat People or any of those films. Uh, but still a very good uh, title. Uh, it's worth picking up or worth checking out if you do get a chance to see it. I don't know if it's going to be on streaming just yet but this is the hong kong release uh released by uh panorama um it's region F a uh it's, but it's got english subs on there so check that out next up from the uk we have the fight back to school box set uh absolutely love this set um sort of like um Tw 21 Jump Street, but like a Hong Kong version with Stephen Chow, uh, di all directed by Gordon Chan. Uh, I think it's some of his best work and it's m some of his most underappreciated work as well. I don't think people really uh, talk about this set as m like these films as much as they do about, you know, like um, uh, Kung Fu Hustle or Shaolin Soccer. Uh, but yeah, uh, it's definitely worth picking this set up it's, it shows a different side to Stephen Chow that people in the West don't really get to see uh, it's got the f all three films um, all some lovely artwork there if I just go this is out that's the first one the second one and also the third one so really stunning artwork on there. That's from 88 Films. So yeah, definitely worth checking out. Next up, uh, this came in the post actually yesterday. Uh, or was it today? It might have been today actually. God, I'm getting the days mixed up. But yeah, uh, this is Last Hero in China. The Jet Li uh, movie uh, directed by Wu Jing. Uh, some great... If you're into like uh, Once Upon a Time in... Uh, Hong Kong is really worth no sorry once upon a time in China it's definitely worth picking up uh, if you love those films a really great martial arts movie um, and yeah definitely worth checking out next up oh this was a lot of fun I absolutely love this this set uh, this title um, it is but an eternal combat so I had to remember, but yeah, absolutely wonderful. Uh, this is like a sort of like a, um, it's similar to like something like Mr. Vampire, but it's, it's got some, some like, uh, back to the future in there as well. Like they move to the future. It actually more reminiscent of Iceman Cometh. Uh, there's the other, the internal artwork. Um, and it's oh, absolutely wonderful. Uh, you've got uh, Ching Ying Lam in there, from who most people will know from Mr. Vampire, Joey Wang, uh, just, and Anthony Wong. Anthony Wong is like, gives a really good performance in this. I, I actually really like, I mean, he's really good at playing those really sleazy, dirty, horrible people. And he does a really good job in that. Um, next up, we have got, oh, this was a banger, absolute banger. It is a Journey to the West. Um, this is released by Carney. Um, oh, what, how, what, it's just such a whimsical, oh, like, odd, 
fun film. Uh, directed by Kong Dashan. Um, just so lovely. And it's, it's about this this uh, guy who writes for a, a UFO newsletter. And he's been sent to this village by, where there's this... Uh, he's a poet. Has... Um, said he's seen like ufos uh, or he's getting messages from space and this and we have this this um statue of a lion who's just been misshapen uh absolutely a statue of a dragon sorry and it's just oh it's just such a magical film and it's so odd it's done like in, in a uh mockumentary style but yeah it's one of my favorite releases of the year so far it's it's so good. Um, yeah, Journey to the West. Definitely worth picking up. Uh, this is from Korea. This is uh, Hidden Blade. Um, yeah, uh, I, I know it's not for everyone. It's directed by Chang. Uh, if you like uh, Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy, you'll probably love this. Uh, what amazing cast. You've got uh, Wang Yibo and Tony Lung in there. Uh, this is the limited edition one. I know that it may have sold out now. They've got a plain edition available. Uh, it's only limited to 700 copies. I don't, I, don't, I don't even think they had faith in it to, to do so well. Uh, but yeah, it, it sold out. Uh, a great sort of espionage film set in um, uh, occupied uh, China during uh, the Japanese occupation. But yeah, wonderful film. Uh, next up, we have Moment of Romance, uh, the Benny Chan classic. Probably my favourite Benny Chan movie. Uh, and this is just an absolute wonder of a film. Uh, you've got Andy Lau in one of his best performances. Uh, and uh, oh, Chen Yen Wu, um, who she's done a, a few films with... Um, oh... God, what's his name? He did a... Uh, eat... Oh, what was the film he did? Uh, eat, Drink, Woman... Eat, Drink, Man, Woman. But yeah, he does a lot of Western films now. But yeah, uh, A Moment of Romance is just absolutely magical. And I think if you are a fan of Benny Chan, definitely pick this up. Um, this is a new restoration. The one I have previously on Blu-ray is a little bit damaged so well the the film uh, masters were damaged so it wasn't a perfect restoration but this is and it's so worth picking up radiance just done such good job with it it's got some really good um it's got a booklet in there it's got loads of special features um they're they're being they're, they're similar to like criterion now uh, and I think they're overtaking with Eureka with the titles that they release. I feel like Eureka are just on this martial arts buzz and they're not really releasing, I don't know, other more, I don't know, films by auteurs. So, which would, you know, I love the martial arts film, so I'm not complaining, but I'd love to see more uh, films from And Hui or... Uh, some other great directors like well we've got everything from Wong Kar Wai but you know you know what I mean it's just it'd be just nice to see some other uh, mainstream auteurs or even some indies uh, next up we have um, Hard Boiled 2 The Last Blood uh, this is this is a wacky film but it, it, it's quite dark at the same time um, we have this terrorist attack um Two people are injured, and there's only one. Like, there's only a few people with the same blood, rare blood type, and it's like going, protecting the people that do have it. Um, yeah, it's it's an absolute mad film. Alan Tam, Andy Lau, Eric Sang, uh, Lung Kol Yan. It's just a, just a great great cast, and directed by Wong Jing. I mean, Wong Jing's like he's. he's a lot of his movies are coming out on Blu-ray at the moment. Um, yeah, same artwork. Uh, but yeah, great great release from 88 Films. Definitely worth picking up. Uh, next up we have She Shoots Straight. Oh, this, this, is, a, this is a real fun movie. Um, uh, Joyce Gondenzi, uh, who plays this uh, top female cop. 
um, and she's out for revenge uh, 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 with uh, Karina Lau as well. Uh, the, 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 they're just like a great, awesome, like cop buddy film. Um, and yeah, it's just absolutely manic, violent, and you know, it's, it's quite dark as well. It's not like a happy film, but yeah, she shoots straight. Really worth picking up as well. Um, this is a fun movie. Um, it's Magic Crystal, another one by 88 Films, uh, starring Andy Lau, Cynthia Rock, Rough Rock. Yeah, um, just just a really wacky sci-fi martial arts film. You forget how good Andy Lau was at martial arts movies, and he does, and I think he's really good in this. Uh, he's a really slick character. Uh, Richard Norton's in this. You can see him on the cover as well. Where is he? There he is. Um, but yeah, a, a great fun movie. Uh, that is uh, Magic Crystal. Uh, and lastly, the last one I've got here. This is an old release, but um, I finally like un un unwrapped it. My daughter wanted to check it out. It's uh, it, it's it's another uh, Lam Ching Ying film. It is The Dead and the Deadly. Um, stars Sammo Hung, um, directed by Wu Ma. And it's, it's about this guy who fakes his death. Um, and he's, it's all money related. Um, it is, uh, but you have um, Sammo Hung as this uh, assistant to a, to a Taoist priest who is sort of like, in the middle of it all, it's, it's, it's a fun movie. Uh, if you do like um, Mr. Vampire, you'll probably like this. It's a bit more wackier. I mean, it's, it's it's not as good, but yeah, it's definitely worth checking out. Uh, maybe picking up if you haven't. Um, but yeah, it's 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 a lot of fun. Uh, had a lot of fun watching it, and that is the Dead and the Deadly. So yeah, that's my big stack of. Uh, Blu-rays, um, I'm hoping to get another one, another Blu-ray update maybe in, next week or in a few days. Um, and then I'll be doing my final end of year videos, my favourite movies of the year, uh, my favourite Blu-ray releases of the year. So yeah, a lot to look forward to. Um, Blu-ray releases, yeah, I, I, I love doing those videos because there's just so many that come out and probably a few that I haven't even shown this year um, just because of everything going on with work and uh, moving house but yep yeah, there's that to look forward to and um, yeah guys uh, hit that subscribe button so you're alerted for when that comes when that drops uh, click like uh, comment below if you picked up any of those until the next one guys take it easy